Hello everyone, my name is Shino and today I'm gonna give you guys a, like a brief explanation on what's coming up in the entire service patch together with the new equipment called the Heroic Bow. So before I begin, uh, remember to check out my giveaway, uh, at least in the previous video, I'll leave a link down in the description. So now before I actually move on to tell you guys the new weapon, uh, I'll give a short guide on like new players as well. So upon hitting level 65, you have this quest at High Watch. So it will give you a gear or guarding gear, which is known as a tier 0 gear. So once you equip those, you will get item level of 4 to 6. So you also gain access to 3 new dungeons uh, right here. They are all 4 1 2, 4 2 6, so you can just enter them. So without member in elite, you basically can do 2 times a day of each. So it will actually be a grind fest or yeah whatever you call it. So you have to spend like two or three days grinding each dungeon, like clear them daily, in order to get to the next tier once you upgrade to plus six. So upon hitting everything to plus six, uh, the next tier we score twist shot if I'm not wrong. So you give you an item level of four three one, which you are able to access another three more new dungeons. So at this level, it's slightly harder and I would say more challenging for new players. Uh, it's actually also another grind fest. So that's where most of the people actually got bored of Terra and left. But if you can bypass this stage, I would say Terra will actually be a quite an interesting, like fun experience for me. Yep. So. After farming those and getting on to the next gear, which is blue in color, it's called Frost Metal. So once getting there, you actually reach, uh, reach an item level of 439, which you are able to get Awakening. Only a few classes have, have it for now, but uh, from my speculation, it will come around June, end of June, for KR servers, and will probably hit other servers at October or something, somewhere around October. So Frost Metal onwards, you will gain access to a lot more new dungeons. Currently there are like 6, 7, 7, 8, yeah about 7, 7 new dungeons. Uh, from the recent release patch notes from KR or like a month or so ago, KR has announced that they will no longer remove old dungeons. I'm not sure how true it is, but till now, Arcana is not removed, and Cyrus Research Facility also is not removed. So that's actually a good thing, so hopefully they carry on with this, so that there are more dungeons available. So there are rumours also, uh, they are adding on more 431 dungeons, like mid tier, mid to lower tier more dungeons. So we'll see how it goes, but for now... I would say the hardest part is actually getting to 439. Alright, so once you get to 439, everything is like you have a lot more things to do, I guess. More variety of dungeons. So from there on, enchanting will be a pain. It's like a must to get a crafting up in order to get the golden derricks. Without this, you are basically you have to get your derricks through broker only. So I'll recommend you getting a crafting actually. So after that on, getting to Stormcry, it's also not that hard, I guess. The hardest is getting Stormcry 0 to plus 9. As you can see, I haven't really spent any gold or I mean any real life money in my equipment. Not that much, I guess. Only for many my mount the phoenix buff besides that i don't really spend that much so upon getting to four all stop cry you get item level of if i'm not mistaken about 446 yeah which gives you access to higher tier dungeons but not the highest tier the highest tier will require you to have a uh, 9555 or i think it's 8 4 4 4 with everything accessories 
go go in color, including innerware. So that will give you access to the highest tier dungeon, which is 453 as of now. This dungeon is called Antara's Abyss Hub Mode. So it also has the newest mask, the highest obtainable mask as of this patch. So now I explain more about the new weapon. Quite well, but yeah. Right, so show you guys the weapon. This one, it's called Heroic Vow. I'm not sure if they will change. They will most likely change when it comes to naming wise. Because this by right is called Howling Rage. They named it to Stop Cry. This is called Heroic Vow. They will probably change it. Anyway, get the percentage. If I'm not mistaken, the base percentage of enchanting is 15% yeah I think it's 15% so once you get full experience it's actually 20% I guess and the amount of golden plates you need is ridiculous 2 for 4 diamonds and gold and your holy water as well as these 4 new brand new items this is totally untradeable and unbankable if I'm not mistaken. So there's no way to obtain this besides farming and task at this hub. Yeah. So in KR, there are actually runs that people actually do sell this item. But it's quite expensive. If I'm not mistaken, it's like 15k gold for one in KR. That's actually quite considered cheap because Many people in KR actually can run this dungeon with 2 DPS and the one buying it can just die on the ground but it might be hard for other servers, now we'll see how. Anyway, upon doing this upgrade, one thing you know that is that the, your red color crystals and your etchings, you have to change it. This is why I, part of the reason why I didn't upgrade to the next tier mainly because I do not have like go to buy a tier 4 etchings and I'm probably better off enchanting my gear to plus 8 so the damage difference between these two is not very high so from the amount of right between here just an increase of about 2%, 1.5 to 2%. So you are better off actually getting your gear up to 8, 8, 8, which will give you a 3% damage bonus total. Yep. Unless you are really that rich to get everything to 8, then yep, go ahead and enchant your weapon to the 4th tier. Right, so that's basically about the new gear. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, if you have a weapon that's plus 8 right now, do not plus 9. Because once you plus 9 before the patch hits, all the experience within it will disappear. Meaning that if you have like 10k upon 5k and you upgrade to plus 9, the remaining 5k will actually disappear. So it will not carry over to plus 9. So the patch will probably hit the second week of June latest for all other servers so by then I guess you just leave it as plus 8 for now so just accumulate the experience and once the patch comes you basically just plus 9 it and the experience will actually carry over so that's basically the advice I will give you guys yep that's all see you guys in the next video bye